Hello everyone. So today our chapter is amines and we have a road map out here. Right. So we all have everything out here. We have first we have benzene. Right. Then if we apply Cl2 and FeCl3, we get chlorobenzene out here. Applying NaOH at 623 Kelvin and 300 atm we get the side group as o minus na plus which upon hydrolysis like as we can see here we get phenol now going down from benzene we get toluene upon application of ch3cl with anhydrous alcl3 then upon adding acidified KMnO4 what we get is a benzoic acid upon heating with NH3 we get the side group as CONH2 which is shown now upon adding Br2 aqueous plus KOH we get aniline now upon adding aqueous bromine we get tribromoaniline directly from aniline upon adding ch3cocl we get the side group as nhcoch3 which upon bromination gives us orthopara products this orthopara products can be further hydrolyzed to give us orthopara bromoanilines right now as we have aniline here upon application of chcl3 with alcoholic koh we get adyl nc this is the group nc which is isocyanide right now this is the most important part when we apply nano2 plus hcl at 0 to 5 degree celsius to aniline we get this which is benzene linked with n2 plus and cl minus this is called benzene diazonium chloride now benzene diazonium chloride has a wide range of applications as can be seen from these reactions let us go to the first reaction the first reaction basically is halogenation or chlorination. Now we have CuCl plus HCl which gives us chlorine as the side group in place of the diazone group. Now CuBr plus HBr also gives us Br. Then we give uh, Ki and heat it up. So we get iodobenzene then we can apply HBF4 which I have described here as plus and minus which gives us fluorobenzene right next we can also apply CuCN to benzene diazonium chloride which gives us benzene linked with CN which can be hydrolyzed to give us what nothing but the COH group linked to benzene right and we can also reduce it using LiLH4 giving us CH2NH2 as the group linked to benzene then we can change benzene diazonium chloride to benzene using H3PO2 uh, and further heating it or we can also use ethanol which also gives us benzene then we can use water which upon heating with diazonium chloride gives us phenol and the last one which is the most important one is if we add this to benzene diazonium chloride we get azodi which also is called the coupling reaction and this azodi is also used as in some tests for distinction 
that is known as azotite test this is all thank you